Hi, Vern Bastian, General Manager of MetroCount, and welcome back to MetroCount HQ, or Tutorial Central, where today we've got a very quick tutorial, something that comes up from time to time in questions, is what do I do when I've pre-programmed the unit via a site list and the anchor point that I was anticipating is not available on the side of the road that I was expecting to find one. Let's say in our site list we've pre-programmed a site with northbound A to B, southbound B to A. So A tube, B tube, northbound would be, the A tube would be struck first followed by the B tube. If our anchor point is unavailable and we simply move the logger to the other side of the road, we just keep those flow directions. So the A tube remains the first one struck in the northbound direction, followed by the B and the inverse for southbound. Uh, and it doesn't matter that the tubes are now physically crossed. It makes no difference. I hope this short tutorial has been helpful. It's a question that comes up from time to time. It, it is straightforward. Just think in terms of the way you've described the flow direction over the tubes and it doesn't matter whether the tubes are crossed, looped around the pole or whatever, provided you maintain the flow directions as described in your logger's header.